Hello folks, I'm really excited about this and I think you're gonna be too. In this series, we're gonna build a full-blown SQL relational database from scratch and we will build it using Go. So the end result will be a database that we will connect to and like write SQL queries against it. And it will look like your typical SQL database. We will build all the necessary components. Components like file manager, so a part of the database engine that will like talk to operating system and, and, and handle all the reading and writing to the, to the files on the disk. We will cover memory management. So we will build uh, a log manager like write ahead log and buffer manager or buffer pool. That's a component that will like load a page from disk to memory, operate on it, and then like flush it back to disk. We will then implement transaction manager. So components like concurrency manager and recovery manager. Concurrency manager will uh, handle the execution of, of all the transactions. So they behave consistently. And a recovery manager reads and writes data uh, to our write ahead log so that uh, the changes made by uncommitted transactions uh, are undone or rolled back. We will also build uh, a query processor. So we will implement a uh, query parser, query planner, and of course, we will implement indexes. Then as we go along, we will cover topics like materialized views, uh, sorting, we will improve our uh, buffer manager efficiency, we will implement query optimizer, and so on. My main material for this series will be a book called Database uh, Design and Implementation by Edward uh, Skior. I'm sorry for butchering the name. And throughout the book, he actually builds uh, a full-blown database from scratch called SimpleDB. Hence the name of the series building SimpleDB, okay? And the author uses Java uh, for implementing everything, but we, of course, will use Golang. And the idea is that uh, for each of these components, I'll implement it, uh, push it to GitHub, and cover everything with the video so you can also follow along. Besides the book that I already mentioned, I will also reference books like this one, Database Internals by Alex Petrov, and of course, Designing Data Intensive Applications by Martin Klepman. And I will also reference uh, a database course from Carnegie Mellon University by Andy Pablo. Like one of the best materials on, on uh, database internals for sure. All in all, I'm like really, really excited about this. I hope you join me and we together go and learn how a database works by actually writing it. And is there a better way of learning how something works besides building it yourself? I don't think so. Thank you for watching this and I hope you join me in the next video where will we implement the file manager. See ya. Bye bye.